Buffy readers. Today we're reading Buffy the Vampire Slayer number one. This is a reprint of the first Buffy the Vampire Slayer comic. This series is based off of season three. Just so you know, Joss Whedon, he does season eight. This is written by somebody totally different. This is at the time when Joss Whedon was working on season three, so I'm sure he didn't have enough time to do any sort of comic type thing. So I guess somebody else decided to do a comic book. I really didn't know about that when I picked this up. I thought it was just Buffy and uh, it was cheaper than the season eight ones. And so I was like, oh, let's check this one out. It looked really neat. So summarize it, Buffy is a teenage girl. She's going to high school at Sunnydale High over a hell mouth. She's your average girl. She likes to go out and party. She's learning how to be a vampire slayer from this guy named Giles and her friends are kind of helping her out and they all I guess combine forces to fight these evil monsters that come out of the hellmouth. In this issue it's this Chinese legendary vampire type thing. He shows up when they're out partying and uh and look a guy in a straw hat how Chinese. Then he shows up again as Xander is practice and tries to kick some karate butt and everybody's like, Psh, we're out of here. The instructor was kind of dumb and was like, yeah, I'll fight you. But then in a second, he's like, peace out, Holmes. You can you can go. I won't even call the cops. Just, just get out of here. And then Buffy comes at the right time, of course. But Xander ends up saving the day, pretty much. Like, yeah, she kind of helps him out. But he's the one who ends up... Psh, 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 psh. This is my sword noise. But yeah, he's a really cool bad guy, I guess. It's a really interesting. I really like the bad guys in Buffy because it's not just like, it's not always a whole bunch of vampires just coming in. Like, yeah, there's, there's always like a crowd of vampires, but there's always that evil character who like always has some sort of history. And it's always very interesting. Always, always, always. The characters in this issue are quite similar to the ones in the TV show. The characters aren't as geeky as they are in the show, but I just still enjoyed Xander being his masculine self. Though it wasn't exactly as she is in the TV show, I didn't really enjoy her in this comic. She was just kind of like a flat character. She was just kind of there to be like, but Buffy, you should do the right thing. Buffy was her same old self. Giles is the same as he is in the TV show. He kind of like just opens a book and is like, oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, I know all about him. I don't know how to read Chinese. Yes, I'm so smart. Oz is in there too, but he's just kind of like Mr. Ladies Man, which I don't remember that from the show at all. As far as the writing goes, I thought that the storyline was very, like, stereotypical Buffy. It was- there wasn't anything, like, extra special about it. It was just, I guess, a good tribute to the show. It's just like, you know, when you're just like, eh, that was good, but it wasn't the best. So, like, that definitely gets, like, a B from me. But overall, it was a really nice read. I think it paid, um, good tribute to the show and good tribute to Joss Whedon. And it's not as good as something that Joss Whedon would do, I don't think. I haven't read the season 8 ones. I want to, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. It seems really good. I Joss Whedon blows my mind, and so I can't wait to get around to reading those. This is a reprint of number 1, and it's uh, number 1 for a dollar. I don't know if the rest of the series is being reprinted. I just saw this one, and I thought it was neat. And so I hope you find it for a dollar and you get it because it's quite good. And even if you don't find it to be fascinating or anything, you only spend a dollar. So why not? Have a lovely day and keep reading.